Hey guys, we're back. So in the last video we talked about signed in user and how it's used. I did forget to mention, however, the action of before action. Now before action is actually a pretty cool thing. It allows you to make it so that before an action is called, this it runs the function signed in user to make sure that it passes and that the user in this case is logged in and that they could actually access the page. So if we did something like before I signed in user only and we did new, then what this means is that bef before going to this page, it checks to make sure that the user the visitor right now that's currently going to the page is signed in and if he is signed in then we'll let him go through and see the page if he's not then we will throw him to the sign in page to have him sign in so having this before before action signed in user only new we actually don't need this line of code so if you have this line of code then we don't need the first line of code here in the new function so that's something i just wanted to mention to you guys but i'm just going to keep this line of code here because we're going to re remove this new at some point in the game so right now we could just leave it there just for just just for kicks but um, just remember that later on the new is something that we will take out of the before action just for other purposes. But to, tell, to talk to you about what we're going to do in this video, we're actually going to fill out one of our views. And the views that we're going to fill out is the new view for org companies because we have, we've made the controller but we haven't really made the view for it yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to write some code here for the view and let's just write it out right now. Actually, let's save this first as new.html.erb so we get some color coding. So we're gonna have open a div and this is gonna have the class of call md6 call md push three. So again, this is just bootstrap stuff, nothing new. So you don't have to freak out. Um, you should freak out if you're starting from this video and not from episode one. So um, that just tells you to always start from episode one. So we're just gonna have provi a provide title to give a title to to this page, uh, something that you should always do. And we're gonna have a center, and inside the center we're gonna do a header one, and our header is going to be register your company. And inside this register, we're gonna have, we're gonna make a form. So we're just gonna we're not actually gonna do that. We're gonna use the Rails equivalent of making forms. So percent sign percent sign echo. I don't know if I ever told you, but the equal sign. If you write it like that, that pretty much means um, print or echo or whatever you want to call it or raise. This tells you to spit out the HTML equivalent for this code. Um, so we're going to use form for a company and we're, where are we getting that? Well, we're getting that from here um, or contacts build from there too. So we're just going to do a loop, do F for the attribute and don't forget to close it with an end tag or else it will complain. Um, we're gonna do some rendering of error messages. So remember, in our shared folders, we defined a bunch of error messages. Or did we? No, that's org people. Yeah, we defined it here. We defined all our error messages here. And I think we might have to add some more errors to it later, but um, nope, we have companies here. So I think we're good. Um, so we're gonna render our error messages shared error messages bam great we're done so no not not really just kidding um, we need to add some text fields so we're gonna add a text field for the for the name of the company so we're just gonna do that um, we're just gonna give the, the symbol name um, for the name of the field, a placeholder called company name and its class is going to be form control s for the CSS. And we're also going to have a hidden field just to 
have a type field type fee ID. So pretty much, I don't know. Maybe later on we're gonna have charge our companies different fee values. So I don't know if they're non-profit or something, then you could charge them a different fee. But we're just gonna deal with the grocery store, so they're all pretty much gonna have the same pay the same fees. Um, but you know, always think for the future. Um, so next we're gonna have fields for type companies because we're not sure if this company is going to be a company, a, de a deliverer, a supplier, a, con uh, a consumer company. We don't know if they're uh, caterers or we don't know if they're restaurants or we don't know if they're grocery stores. We don't know if they're delivery, de delivery companies. So whatever you want there. So um, over here, we're going to make a drop down and how we're going to do that is we're going to go company collection select id and type company order name so that'll just really spit out the name on the on the drop down and it's going to have a prompt called please select company type type and our selected is going to be company type company ID and this is also going to have the class of form control okay so so far so good um, but we are missing something here. We are missing a percent equals because that end was complaining. And we're going to add some more fields, but these fields are going to be shared with something else. So that's why we're going to make a layout company field for them. And we're going to do that in the next video. One last thing I want to do is I want to make a field for text area just so they could type in the description if they have a summary of what their company actually does. And of course, we need a submit button, a register button to register their company for. Um, if you don't know what collection select does, well, this is the perfect chance for you to go do some homework and go to Google and Google that collection select and see what all the parameters stand for. I actually don't remember, but you know, that's what Google is there for and this teaches you how to look for the information that you need instead of me just telling you so a little bit of work that i have given you so don't hate me for that please still subscribe to my videos and i'll see you guys next time when we will talk more about this company fields thing that we're gonna do please break on subscribe and i'll see you guys next time